let's get started friends so here we go from our course curriculum core dba 6 weeks program we are pending with one important concept migrations let's assume you have some a uh, database in 2019 you would like to move it to 2022 well one way is backup restore right click database tasks backup or new query backup database database name to disk equal to e colon or whatever drive you have say enterprise db full usually we write the date 20 or uh, 24 0202.bak okay in general we write date and time like date at least date like this with format okay now you take a backup of the database go to other server and restore it restore first verify only from disk verify whether backup is valid or not then restore database whatever database you have from disk with the recovery let's understand what's the actual restore means restore means re creating the database you are recreating a database in the other server say other microsoft sql server so we need to cautiously select the drive path also so restore header only okay restore header only sorry file list only restore file list only what does it mean it checks where exactly you are restoring the database where exactly we are restoring the database here it is You don't want on C drive, you want on dedicated drives, one for data file, one for log file. Then, with what we do, move, okay, move, what to move, move, first file, the data file to, for example, my E drive or I think I have my F drive as well with me. Yes, I have my F drive, E drive. There are two drives with me. I'll use both. For now, to E drive. Okay, like this. Data dot MDF. Okay, specify the MDF location. Comma. Move what else we need to move log file see whatever data files and log files you have on the database move them move them to where move them to required location to for example f drive you don't want to overburden your c drive so date underscore log dot ldf like this see here now comma recovery i repeat again see here you are restoring the database from or migrating database from one server to another server second server would have its own file system dedicated file system drive letters may be different so we need to cautiously move each of the data file and log file to 
appropriate destination. Now see here, from 2019, the database got upgraded to 2022. This is one method. But problem with this method in production environments, security, logins cannot be transferred. You have to transfer the logins manually. So there is another method we are going to learn now. First method, backup, verify, validate, restore. That is one method. Other method, database, logins, jobs, everything we pick from the source, park it to destination, pick and park. Are we clear so far, please? I'll wait. Yes, mic with you all. Please shake your mic. Let me know. I'll wait. Are we clear, please? I'll wait. Sir, yes. could you please explain this restore <laughs> file only? Like, what is that? This one. Yeah, this is yeah. to verify the original location of your database. Very simple, sister. You remember the initial classes I used to right click database, restore. You remember this interface? Right click databases, restore. We have one interface. Mm -hmm. Yes. There, we used to go to add. And we yes, used to select the required path, the backup path. Okay. Okay. And we automatically see one location, right? This location, you remember now? Yes, sir. Huh. The same location, this location, we are relocating to another path. That's it. This is what we did earlier classes, right? You remember yeah. through user interface, right. right? Restore chapter in our course. Uh, right. The other day we learned, I think, a couple of weeks back. I'll show you again, okay? Restore through user interface. This, this is the notes we used the other day. Just wait. So here we go. So restoring through user interface, I said restore to a different file path. Yes, hope you got it now. Number two, second item in the notes. Yes, I yeah. got it. The same thing I am showing you in script format. That's it. Nothing else, nothing new. Yep. Come on, please, everyone. Are we clear now? I'll wait. Yes, I thank you. Vishwa. Bimal Ben, please shake your mic, please. Sir. Fine, friends. Yes, Let's sir. continue. Next. So what's the problem here? Problem is, yes, database is safely migrated. No problem. But what about security logins? What about jobs? So alternative, right? Click tasks. Copy database. Other alternative. Next. Select the required server, first server, second server, whatever servers we use. Go for detach, attach method and select the database you would like to copy or move. System databases cannot be migrated. For now, I'll copy only the user database. Main advantage of this copy database wizard. Number one, we can change the destination. Just like we did for the backups and restores concept just now, we can change the destination, E colon and F colon, whatever. You can give the location. Main advantage. You can transfer logins, procedures, jobs. You remember DB mirroring endpoints and maintenance plan, SSIS packages that we learned in the earlier classes. Everything, all dependencies can be given to a single package. We call it CDW, Copy Database Wizard. SQL DB migration package. 
This is a concept. One method backup restore. Other method copy database wizard. I'll repeat again how I get this one. Right click source database tasks copy database. Okay, this one. Next. My source should be lower version. Destination should be higher version. Always. Same or higher. Cannot be back. There is no backward journey. Only same level or higher forward journey. I mean 2019 to 19 or 22. I cannot go back to 2017. From 19. Not possible. Detach, attach. Any problem automatically roll back occurs. Automatically. We learnt about server upgrades, service patch activities, wherein we did manual rollback, like rebuilding system databases and all those stuff. Whereas database migrations are auto rollback in case of any trouble, in case of any problem. I'll call this as CDW migration package. Next. You would like to schedule, usually migration is recommended to be scheduled during off-peak hours, non-business hours. Migration schedule, one-time schedule occurs, for example, today Feb 2nd, 2024, I will make it as Saturday or Sunday. 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, something like that. Off peak hours, non business hours. A regular account or proxy account, anything, click finish. So, what we are doing here, we are defining a scheduled migration activity. So, instead of traditional backup and restore process, you go for copy database wizard, which is more powerful, more useful. A nice package will be created to transfer not only database, but also security and job maintenance objects. Everything single package. This CDC, sorry, CDW package will be available on the destination server remember i'll wait for some time as per the schedule as per the schedule wait for a few moments we should be able to see it in the destination server remember that so what we do we leave it as it is it runs as per the schedule or or you run it manually next one more important thing. What if you stick to old style backup restore? Say, for example, your client has Express Edition. Express Edition don't support agent, right? There is no agent. There is no maintenance plan. In such a case, what we do? Yes, in such a case, we need to go with this traditional approach. I'm taking you back to the old, old style again. If in case for some reason our copy database wizard is not working or not applicable in our environment, then we need to transfer the logins. So what we do? Backup logins at source. And what you do, restore logins on the destination. This is what you have to do.